Hi everyone, just another video from Halloween Dan. Uh, we're getting closer, very much closer. It's now the 15th of October. Ooh, 16 days. I thought I'd just give you a quick look at what we got out of the box the other day of all my other Halloween stuff. We started our haunt, I don't know whether you saw my last video, uh, we've just briefly started, we've put up the little fence we put up around the outside of our front garden. Our front garden isn't the biggest, um, but we pack a lot into that small space. So, so yeah, we started, uh, but one of the main features of the haunt, one of the things we always look forward to putting out, brand new last year she was, is our witch. And so I thought I'd give you a quick view of her. I've got her out of the box. I've checked that she works. She definitely does. And here she is. So as you can see, oh, her sleeves come off a little bit. Oh, can't have that. Uh, this is our Costco animated and talking witch. Uh, she stands well with the top of the hat. She's just over six foot. And she's actually about five nine with the hat not on with the hat like low she's got her cauldron at the bottom here which uh with this stick she stirs uh, and she's really great i mean apart uh, she stirs the cauldron the cauldron has some small led lights in it that light up um and she says i think she says five different phrases five or six and her mouth actually moves when she talks her eyes light up too so she's really cool the detail on her is brilliant as well like whoever designed this witch really went to town you know the glasses are just finish it off i mean they actually you can actually take the glasses off but i'm not going to the hair is excellent the hat the little like the little rose on the hat excellent her costume in, as a whole is really well put together it's all separate as well. This belt, this sash thing is a separate piece. The dress is one piece. Um, this dark black dress and then this green top and then the frill that goes around it. You've got a nice little uh, jewel there on her, uh, around her neck. Uh, but then this cape that she wears, like this, uh, this like kind of shawl. This is really nice. Um, well thought through sort of a thing. And it's a separate piece that actually Velcros on. Uh, after she's all put together. The joints of the arms these are brilliant. The only thing that happened to my witch, which was sad, was this joint here, which you can't see, but underneath here, um, where the arm actually attaches to the frame of the witch's body and underneath it all, um, it uh, snapped off last year. The, the, the weld mustn't have, been, mustn't have been very good and it just broke off, which is sad. But I managed to figure it out a different way. I just hooked it into a different hole and it seems perfectly fine. She stays together perfectly well and she does what she's supposed to do. So I'm not gonna cry about it too much. So with no further ado, let's see what she does. Are you a good witch? <laughs> well, you're just in time. Come a little closer and help me with this broom. Phew, my arms are getting tired. How about you stir for a while, hmm? Oh, timid, eh? Well, there's no rest for the wicked. This potion isn't going to stir itself. <laughs> so that's one of the phrases. Now, I've got her on motion sensor, so when I walk back in front of her, she should... Hmm, there you this go. brew seems to be lacking vision. It looks like it needs more eyeballs. Hey, you there. Do you have any you could spare? <laughs> well, I can see that everybody is unwilling to share. <laughs> no matter. This brew is already pretty lumpy. <laughs> ah, the smell of Halloween is in the air. Or is that your perfume? It's the perfect time to brew some of my magic love potion. One sip of this and you will fall in love with me. <laughs> I love it all. Things like worms and wings of bat. 
Sprinkle in some lizard tongues and whiskers from a cat. Fill it up with dragon tears and heat until it's bubbling. Open up your book of spells and cast your words so troubling. <laughs> Voila! Ready to serve. Um, anyone care to be a toad? <laughs> Ooh, this brew is looking mighty tasty, but it doesn't seem right. Maybe I'm not stirring it right. Hey, maybe I should be stirring it left. <laughs> that seems to have done the trick. And a treat. <laughs> Happy Halloween. So, as you can see, she is pretty awesome. Um, she was a real crowd pleaser last year. Loads of people came. Because, like I say, I'm, I'm based in the UK. Not many people do haunts of any description big or small most people will put out a pumpkin and stuff and occasionally there'll be one or two places where they'll put a, a few more things out <clears throat> but in my little village where we live i'm in the minority there are lots of people do put out stuff for trick-or-treaters but not many go quite as full force as i do there's probably about three or four other people in the village i can think of maybe a few more, who really go all out on Halloween. Um, and I'm one of them. Uh, she was, so when people saw her last year, people were kind of like, whoa, this is amazing. And people were taking pictures with her and all that kind of jazz. So, so yeah, she was really, people really liked this witch last year. And I mean, what isn't there to like? She's absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with her. Last year, and I'm still happy with her now. She's she the the voice is excellent. The phrases she says are funny, um, and she's a real standout piece. I mean, she is massive. Um, so obviously, not quite as big as my uh, <laughs> my dragon, not and uh, maybe not quite as funny as the skeletons, but still, she stands alone. And I'm, and I still think out of all the things I have, she's my favourite. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick preview of my witch and it'll be fun to see her when I put her in our haunt. We usually, what we usually do though, we kind of move things about because the weather in the UK is so unpredictable and these are things that are not gonna last in really horrible weather for very long. We end, generally in the weeks running up to Halloween, we'll have these in the house. I won't put them outside into my main horn until maybe the day before Halloween, depending on the weather. And even then, I tend to put them out in the day and then bring them back in again at night. My wife is like, what are you doing? So I get it all set up. I've got all the extension cords ready and raring to go. And then I plug them in for the daytime, as long as the weather's down to be relatively dry. And then I take them in again at night and put them out again the next day. Long-winded, but worth it in my eyes. So yeah, we'll do that again this year, I should imagine. <laughs> I've just got this worry, I've got this fear that this Halloween, just to top everything else off with corona, just to top everything else off with coronavirus and everything, it's gonna be wet and horrible. I've just got this feeling that it's gonna, just to top it off, I'm sure it will. Um, I hope it doesn't, but if it does, I might end up having to put tarpaulins up or something, which doesn't look particularly great but I'd rather that than all my stuff get damaged. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.